Okay, here we are with our writing prompt for Tuesday, um, April 14th, and we're going to write about um, what is in a pond, what kind of life forms you would find in a pond. Maybe you have one near your house. We have one a couple streets down from our house. So we can just talk about it a little bit too. Adriel, since we have um, been walking around the pond, what kind of life forms have you seen there? I've seen uh, tiny little fish, like really little fish. Okay. And I've seen um, ducks. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. <laughs> I don't really, the water is like, you know, it's a pond. Yeah. So I can't really see The anything. water has been frozen for most of winter too, but it's not now. Um, but life forms also includes plants that are growing in the pond, algae that are growing. Sometimes you can see on the rocks, plants mm -hmm. and algae. Um, you mentioned fish. There's probably bigger fish that maybe we just haven't seen, but you can see the little fish. What about the tadpoles? Yeah, tadpoles. Tadpoles, so frogs. Tadpoles. Oh, what about turtles? I've they often live in ponds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember at one time I thought I saw a turtle, but it was just a rock. <laughs> maybe, maybe they live more in rivers. I'm not sure. I don't think turtles would live in rivers. I think they... Oh, I've seen them. Definitely really? in rivers. Mm -hmm. I feel like the water would be too fast for them, you know, mm -hmm. too slow. <laughs> uh, well, when it's a it's large river, disturbed. the water go flows slowly for the most part. And then there are um, insects around the ponds. So what kind of insects do you remember seeing? Um, there's lots of uh, like mosquitoes, which I hate. Yeah, them. mosquitoes um, definitely, because they, they lay their eggs in water. Mm -hmm. And um, I, there's ants. Mm -hmm. Ants. Worms. worms. Not that they're insects, but there are worms. <laughs> Um, mayflies. Mayflies. May. Yes. We're going to start to see mayflies. And they're really large, but really, like, delicate looking. They look like huge mosquitoes, but they're not. Those are mayflies. Um, I think there's things called water sliders. Oh, yeah. That look. I know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what water sliders They are. look kind of like spiders. Mm -hmm. And they glide across the water. Flies, dragonflies, dragonflies, at some point. We haven't seen those yet, but yes, at some, at some point, dragonflies would be around a pond because they also lay their eggs in the pond. So if you could write me one to three sentences, third years, three to five sentences, and send those to me. And let's talk about our word problems. I think Adriel has answers from yesterday. Yes, I do. So do you want to go sit up there? Mm -hmm. You can show them. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have our new ones. I have really bad memory. I think I should just tell them. Okay. All right. Can we see this? Alright, so this is Tuesday. So they're all in order to Alright, so uh for Monday, um first grade, the answer is eight tons. Okay. Um uh, uh month this is second grade. Yeah, this is the second grade. Yeah. So second grade is um fifty people. Yeah. <laughs> um Third grade is uh, four uh, four pizzas with one pint of sauce, or I think pint, <laughs> pint. Mm -hmm. and eight pizzas with one quart of sauce. Okay. And then fourth graders, mm -hmm. uh, the answer is 17% uh, in 1980 and 1% 1 in 1998. Okay, so moving on for today's word problems. First years. Your word problem says an alligator in the wild lives about 30 years. An alligator in the zoo lives about 50 years. How much longer does an alligator live in the zoo? And you're going to write a number sentence. A number sentence is an equation. How much longer? I need to get close for you, I think. Second years. Your word problem says the bus left at 8.05. The trip took 20 minutes. At what time did the bus arrive at the lake? And you'll need to show your work on the clock. You can either print this page or you can draw your own clock. If you want that, you can have that. Third years, your word problem says, next, you put cheese on your pizzas. You need three-fourths cup white cheese and one-fourth cup 
yellow cheese. And another way to say those are three quarters cup white cheese, one quarter cup yellow cheese. Mark how much cheese you'll need in the measuring cups. And they're showing you diagrams over here of a measuring cup. How much cheese would there be when you put both cheeses together? There's your answer. So you'll need to draw the three three fourths cup of white cheese and you'll need to draw the one fourth cup of yellow cheese and then how much would it be together? Fourth years or anyone who wants to challenge themselves with this word problem today says in 1977, 17% of all United States households had cable television. In 1998, 67% had cable television. How much did the percentage of households that had cable increase from 1977 to 1998? How many years were in the study? So you have two questions on this. You'll need to have two answers. I hope you can see this. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully Adriel will work these out for you. We'll be back. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.